Welcome back to another lesson on Active Directory. In my previous video, we looked at how we can create shared folders and assign permissions based on groups in which users belong. But if we go back to the user Abe Sekara, who now should have access to two network drives, and navigate to his file explorer and this PC of his Windows 11 machine, we only see the H drive mapped. So in this PC, we only see the H drive access. He does have access to the other network drive, which is the manager's network drive. But the only way he can access this by going into the address bar here and entering the location in which the network drive for the, uh, the managers are located. So it is not automatically populating here. You can create a script in which every single time the user logged in, he will have not only his H drive, or but will have other network drives which is assigned to them by the system administrator. There's a couple of ways you can do this. One is to create a net logon script and attach to a GPO, which is the correct or proper way of doing it in 2022. And the other option is basically doing it without a GPO. In this example, I'm going to show you how you can do it without using a G GPO by just utilizing the net logon script. So let's go back to our Windows Server 2022. And then we will create a script in which we'll automatically run every single time the Abe Sekera user log in to any of the devices that is connected to the Windows domain. So to do that, first we're gonna go, go to Start menu and I'm gonna open the Notepad. And in this Notepad, I'm gonna write a very simple script. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add echo echo off. What this is going to do is basically it's gonna eliminate that pop-up window a user will see when the script is running run every single time they logged in so it will run in the background next i'm going to use net use and going to put a space and i'm going to put m because i'm going to assign the drive letter m for the managers folder i'm going to put a colon and forward slash d which is for directory and i'm going to direct that to null what this is going to do is if there were any network drives associated with drive letter M on the user's end, it's just going to get deleted at this very first step. Because we are going to assign that drive letter to our SH managers folder, which we created in our C drive uh, uh, right here. So right here, because this folder is shared. Uh, if you go to sharing, see this folder is shared. And in the security, we have the managers group uh, that should have access to, right? And the base acre is a part member of that managers group. So we're gonna clear that M, uh, you know, uh, drive letter. And then I'm gonna use net use M, and I'm gonna assign that M drive letter to the server location where the sh underscore managers uh, folder is located. So that's going to be uh, double backslash and ss serve 2022 backslash sh underscore managers. And the reason why this is because if we go back again, uh, to where we were before, uh, right here on the H drive. And if I go to managers, you can see under sharing, this is the network path we are using. You can basically actually copy from here the network path. And then you can put that network path to the drive letter in which you're gonna assign it. So in here, it's gonna be the M drive letter. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a space here and put forward slash, and I'm gonna type Persistent, so P R, sorry, P E R S I S T E N T, and I'm gonna say no. What this is is basically, if you put persistent yes here, every single time the user logged in, and every single time 
this script is run regardless of this whether the this is a sign or not it's keep running this script so we, to prevent that we just gonna uh, enter persistent no if you put persistent yes it's just gonna run every single time the user logged in regardless of the script already has run it's not a problem but just to keep it everything clean i'm just gonna put that as all and now i'm going to save this as either a dot cmd file or dot bat file or dot exe file so the logon scripts can be saved as either dot bat files dot cmd files dot exe files etc etc it's a very simple script and uh, you know this is all you need to map a network drive but before you save this you need to make sure you save at the correct location so that every single time the user logged in this script is going to pull up and run in the background so to do that if you open up your file explorer on your windows server 2022 and in here if you go to the address bar you need to go and locate uh, the net logon um, folder so if you go here and if you type that backslash double slash and then you enter uh, your server name so for me it's going to be ss serve 2022 and press enter it'll show you uh, you know it'll give you all the shared folders available to you so for example we have the sh managers folder and i have a bunch of other folders i have created and it is showing up here so now i'm going to do now what i'm going to do is go into this folder which is called the net logon folder in which we need to save this particular script because that's where this windows will automatically pull up data for the logon script and in here is where we're going to save uh, that uh, dot uh, you know dot cmd file because i'm going to save this as a dot cmd file so i'm going to go in here file and save as and i'm going to make sure i'm in that location slash slash ss serve 2022 net logon that is the location in which uh, you know where this uh, net logon folder is located network folder and i'm gonna change this from dot txt file to all files so basically for the file type we're gonna put it into all files and you can name this anything you like so i'm gonna say managers net logon dot cmd you can call it whatever you like to make it easier for me to find this uh, script i'm going to write managers underscore net logon dot cmd and save so make sure you don't save it as a dot txt file so it needs to be saved as dot cmd file or a, a bat file dot bat file etc and once it is saved next thing what i'm going to do is making sure that the file is already saved in the proper location so you can go in here so you can see the file is located and i'm going to open and see if the file uh, you know is there if you want to check that uh, you right click and say edit and you can say run here and you can see the file is there and all our data is there and it's ready to go now uh, i'm going to uh, use this um, you know file to direct uh, this user's logon script right to do that what I need to do actually I need to find that user on your uh, Active Directory users and computers so in this case is this user so I'm going to double click on that user then I will navigate to the profile section and under logon script I'm going to put that file name which is which is managers underscore net logon dot cmd and then I'm going to click apply and okay so what that did is it puts this profile logon script uh, right here you don't need to enter the exact location of the logon script because this is by default is directing to this location the net logon folder it's a network folder it's a default folder in all windows servers and once you have done that you can go back to the abe sekeras uh, windows 11 machine and you, as you can see if you refresh this machine nothing happens and no uh, you know new folders appears 
So what you need to do if the user is logged in already, you're gonna ask the user to log out. So I'm gonna go in here and say sign out. Not lock or switch, but sign out so that the script will uh, be able to pull and run in the background. And you're gonna ask the user to log back in. And now, if I go back into File Explorer, under this PC, you can see the manager's shared folder is now attached to drive letter M and he has the access. So he doesn't have to do anything right now to get his drivers because it is already mapped by the domain controller where the Active Directory uh, users uh, profile right here have assigned that script uh, so that every single time he log in this new folder appear. So you can attach multiple network locations or folders or otherwise network drives to any of your users or user groups using this net logon script method. As I mentioned before, another way of doing this is using a GPO, which I will demonstrate in a future video when we go over GPO examples. If you have any questions or concerns regarding any of the items that we have covered today, please feel free to reach out to me. Until next time, please subscribe and thumbs up this video and have a nice day.